Weekends. Hello there, this is Cynthia Oliva and welcome again to another video tutorial. This time we're gonna be making a crochet top out of the sunflower granny squares I made. So if you'd like to know the materials I used for this project, kindly visit the first part of this video which is called sunflower granny squares. And I will just put the link on the description box below. So let's start this project by joining the two granny squares. So, of course, you have to slip stitch it first on the corner of the granny squares and then slip stitch on the back loops. So, by the way, I'm using green and white granny squares here. This is just an example. So, in my crochet top, I really used um, white granny squares. So, for the sake of this video, I'm using this green because I wasn't able to record this part appropriately so I just made another one now you just continue doing this slip stitching the back loops until you reach the end of this um, row so if you know any other way on how to join the granny squares you are free to do that Again, just continue slip stitching until you reach the end of this row. Now I'm done joining the two granny squares. At this point, we will be joining another granny square here in our project. So just do exactly as what you did earlier. And this one is going to be the cleavage part. Okay, so I'm done. Now we have three granny squares joined together. This time, we're going to be adding another 2 granny squares for the sides. So, we have 5 granny squares here. So, the 2 granny squares on the sides will be extended until the back part. So, we have 2 granny squares on the bust, 1 for the tummy and 2 for the sides. Now, we have joined our 5 granny squares. So, I already placed here additional stitches on this part. So, we're gonna be doing that. Okay, so you will just add stitches here, just like what I did here. And also this one here. To start this part, just turn your project upside down. And that's where we're going to insert our hook and yarn. Okay, so this is the second double crochet from the corner. So just insert here and make a slip stitch. And then don't forget to chain one. Chain one and make a double crochet here at the corner. And then chain one again and attach on the second double crochet by slip stitching and then make another three slip stitches okay so we have one two and three okay and then chain one again for this part on the very first row we have created one double crochet and then the second row is consist of three double crochets now for the third row we're gonna be making another one set of three double crochets but the difference is we'll make two chains okay so we've uh, made two chains already and then here is a double crochet or three double crochets rather and then two chains and then slip stitch again Okay, so you have uh, you have to count three from your previous slip stitch. Okay, 
Okay, so you're done in this part. Now we'll proceed to the next row. So two sets of three double crochets. But before that, we have to slip stitch three times. One, two, and three. And then chain one. Remember, you have to chain one only. And then turn your work. Now, double crochet three times here on the very first double crochet. Or on top of the very first double crochet. And then make a chain one. And double crochet again on the very last. On top of the very last double crochet. Okay, so one, two, and three. Okay, don't forget to chain one. And from your previous uh, slip stitch, count three. And there, make another slip stitch. Okay, so right after that, again, on the next three stitches, make a slip stitch on each. One. Two. And three. And then again, don't forget to chain one. And turn your work. So, again, on the very first double crochet or on top of it, make another three double crochets. Chain one, another three double crochets on the chain space. Chain one. Double crochet now on the very last double crochet or on top of the very last double crochet. So make another three, okay? And then after that, don't forget to chain one and count three stitches from your very last slip stitch, okay? So from here, you count the three stitches. Okay, so make a slip stitch and don't forget to count again three times and make a slip stitch on each of the stitches. Chain one. Chain two. Chain three. Turn your work. So you're just basically following the same pattern here. So on top of the very first double crochet, you will make three double crochets as well. And then chain one and another three double crochets on the chain spaces. Okay, so you will just repeat that until you reach the last um, space on the granny square. Okay, so here we're now on the last double crochet. So again, you will place three double crochets there. And then chain one and slip stitch on the other um, granny square. Okay, don't forget to count three from your previous slip stitch. Now I'll stop from here. So you just continue what you did on the previous rows. Okay, now I'm chaining one and slip stitching here at the corner of this granny square. So, we're done on this part. You can cut your yarn now. Okay, this time we're gonna be doing this part. Just insert your hook and then slip stitch and then make three chains. And then beside it, on the uh, chain space, make another two double crochets to make it three. So by the way, the three chains is considered as one double crochet. And then count three stitches. So there is where you're going to slip stitch. And then count another three again. Chain one. And then make three double crochets on top of the first double crochet. One, 
टू एंड थ्री एंड देन चेन वन एंड डबल क्रशे ऑन द थ्री चेन्स दैट वी डीड इन द बिगिनिंग ओके सो थ्री चेन्स अगेन एंड टर्न योर वर्क एंड मेक थ्री डबल क्रशेस ऑन टॉप ऑफ द वेरी फर्स्ट डबल क्रशे chain 1 and another three double crochets on top of the last double crochet on the previous row 1 2 and 3 it's quite fast because it's almost similar on the previous part that we did okay so you'll just have to count 3 from your previous slip stitch and then make another slip stitch there and then Just repeat what you did earlier. So just count three slip stitches. Okay, so one, two, and the last one, and then chain one again. Turn your work and double crochet three times on top of the very first double crochet. So this is what you're going to do until you reach the end. Uh, this is basically placing three double crochets on the same stitch and then slip stitching. Okay, so that's just what you're going to do. So here, chain one, and then on top of the three chains, you will make one double crochet. So don't forget to chain one first before doing that. Okay, next, three chains again, and then three double crochets on the same stitch. Chain one. Now on the chain spaces, we'll make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so you just repeat that. Slip stitch. Okay, so this is it now. Okay, so far this is how it looks like. But we're not done yet, so here's the last part. We're gonna do just like what we did here on the bottom part. Now this is the corner of this granny square, but we're not working there because you will be attaching your yarn here. So this is how it looks like. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the other side. Now, we will be starting here on the double crochet beside the corner of this granny square. So just make. Four chains, one, two, three, four, and then on the corner. This is what I'm talking about. So we will make three double crochets. Okay, three, and then chain one, and count three. Uh, chains and then you slip stitch on the third. Okay, here is a slip stitch, and then another three slip stitches. So one, two, three, and then chain one and turn your work. Three double crochets on the very first double crochet. So that's. Here we have one, two, and three. Chain one, and on the third chain from the four chains that we did earlier, you will place one double crochet. We are working on the third chain because the fourth one is considered as chain one. Okay, 
so on the chain space make another two double crochets and then on the last double crochet make three double crochet chain one and then slip stitch on the third uh, chain okay and another three slip stitches on the next three chains so you're just basically repeating what we did earlier okay so double crochet again three times on top of the first double crochets chain one double crochet three times on the chain space chain one and then double crochet on top of the three uh, three chains so three chains again and then double crochet again so you will just repeat that okay until you reach the end so the three chains we've been working on is considered as the foundation on this side so that we can insert our lace now we are on the second to the last part okay so we are placing single crochets on each of the stitches so if you have double crochet stitches place two um, single crochets there but if you have single crochet stitches or chains just place one um, single crochet so for instance on this part i'm working on the sides at the back part or panel so now um, you will just make uh, two single crochets there and then here at the very corner at the bottom part we will place three uh, single crochets you will be doing that when you're working on the sides okay or at the corner of the bottom portion of your top okay so you'll just repeat that and then here is the corner of this granny square now place two half double crochets there one and two and then continue again by placing single crochets on each of the stitches and then when you see another corner from the granny square you just repeat placing two half double crochets okay now i ended it up so slip stitch on the very first single crochet you did don't forget to chain one and then you can cut your yarn so this time we're gonna be adding our straps so here i'm using 3.0 millimeter okay for this part i often use this stitch or these stitches on my straps so one two and three and then insert and double crochet two chains again insert on in the chain space and double crochet again okay so you're just basically placing two double crochets or two chains and then double crochet on the space Okay, so you can make as long as you want but for this top I only have 45 inches long okay so this is the last part of our crochet granny square top so you just insert the lace on the back portion and you can wear it already so this is it for now but don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and you can share this also and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. So thank you for watching.